All right, welcome back to episode 21 of Southern Cross Station. So I was taking a look at this and I was trying, my, my brain couldn't, I couldn't wrap my brain around how the heck do we do uh, the milk? Well, as you can see, here it is sitting here. Um, so the next thing that kind of popped into my brain um, was, uh, you know, how are we going to actually, you know, say that we get there you know walk you know, going ac driving across the grass all the time is not a a great thing and we're probably going to have some we're probably going to have something over here so what i was thinking is i think there we go um going to construction go to landscaping go to painting i was just thinking i mean okay that's just dirt it would work just fine, I guess. So I think I think it's him to go bigger. It is. So this may take a little bit. So I'm I may I may time lapse this. I might not. Let's just see what the first spot looks like. You know what? That's good enough. I'm not sure that I can do this perfectly like I want to, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to actually go back through and get rid of this grass right along the edge of the cement. Yeah, it looks pretty good, don't it? I think so. Now, I'm thinking... Let's see, what is it? V to go round? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put it back to square. Um, I'm not sure if I can turn that enough so I can... Yeah, we may not be able to do it the way I want to do it. I don't know how he originally did this, you know. So we're just going to cut in a little bit. I really don't care. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm sure there's probably a way to change the direction the squares facing type of thing so you can get a nice, smooth thing. But that looks a lot better. Um, so let's just go ahead and exit out of there. Take a quick look at it. Yeah, it looks nice. That'll be a lot nicer for. Uh, we'll probably you know, neaten it up a little bit here and there. But at least we got a path in here now. So um, the only two things I can think of doing. Um, where the heck are they? um, we can either do a contract, which there is a harvesting contract, so we could actually get quite a bit of work. And since we got the big tractor, it really wouldn't matter. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go do the mowing first. I'm actually thinking I want to buy a, uh, a tether. So we can actually start doing hay because the they do it. They don't use TMR, but they use uh, hay as well. And I really don't want to have to. Uh, uh, how do I want to explain? I I, I don't want to have to bale it. I want to get a decent uh, unit for other stuff, you know. And we need at least a hundred thousand. I think I I think that's. Let me just look here quick. Um, if we go purchase, go there. There is, uh, some water dragons. Yeah. To get, like, this one here, which our John Deere can definitely handle. You know, this one's okay, but it's, you know, only 26, where this is 35. And I do want to do that. And there's a couple other things I want to try doing, too, and, uh, at some point. So, we're definitely going to need one of those wagons anyway. I mean, we could just say the heck with it, save up and get the big forager. Uh, but that would require us to uh, plow the, each of our grass fields so that we could hire somebody to run the forager and drive alongside it with the semi. But we'll, we're going to go ahead and get this started. We, Like I said, we... Depending on what I want to do, I don't know if I, I don't really want to uh, go through 
and do this whole i want to do the whole field obviously with the grass but i don't want to go through grass then tether then do you know do each of the things you know i'm kind of whoops I'm like just running into my equipment right But we'll decide what we're going to do. We may do a job for that perk. We may do that job that we've seen the harvesting one. Because I don't want to... We've been doing a lot of spraying. I mean, we're going to be doing harvesting here in another month, actually. Um, how do we get at 3 o'clock in the afternoon already? Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep and push the... But let's take a quick look at what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to be... We got canola in February. So instead of doing the the grass, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the the first thing of grass. Let's go ahead and push the clock ahead. Then we'll do the grass. Then we'll go harvest the canola. And we'll go from there. I didn't even think of looking that up until I got into the game. It's like, wow. One of them things, you know. But since it is late in the afternoon, let's just go ahead and sleep. I must have bumped a key or something and ended up with the extra time running out on the clock. Well, I was out of, I was out of the room for a few minutes, so maybe maybe I was out longer than I thought I was, you know, type of thing. I mean, I was I was trying to get some stuff done in the house. I had to run do some running quick, and I but yeah. But I think we'll get this field done first. Uh, we're probably going to need to uh, to get a grassland roller and roll this at some point. Uh -oh. So it looks like we're just about done. Got a few more passes here, pretty small ones. So 
I, I don't know, at first it felt like this was taking forever to get for whatever reason, and then uh, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, no, not really that much. But uh, I'm, I'm really thinking about it, because if you look at this, you know, if you look at the uh, map down here in the corner, it's actually, what is that, nine to make it bigger? Yeah. Um, so if you look at it, you can see the one set corner of the field is all green. That's this corner over here. Um, there's a lot of yellow. There's a little bit of orange. I'm guessing that orange is probably clay. But, you know, I don't want to speculate too much on that. You know, it might be, it might not be. But, uh... We'll get this all packed up and uh, put away. And uh, I noticed our... Uh, our field is done over here. I don't think uh, 26 is done until next month because if I remember correctly, we pa we planted 26 late. Um, so we'll definitely, you know, we'll see what we can do here in just a minute or two. I'm I'm really looking at this, trying to figure out how I want to I want to do this field up so that we can, uh, you know, use it as a square field. But I haven't decided yet what would be the best way to do that. Um, as you've seen, probably, uh, we took out that one tree that was in the way. I mean, obviously, if we square it up, we're going to be taking out a lot more trees just to get it so we can have a square field. We may fill in some of the water. I haven't decided yet. But, yeah, so as you can see, you know, this field here is all ready to go, so... I would like to get that. I, I'm pretty sure sunflowers are not ready yet this month. But I'm going to quick take, as soon as we get back in the yard, I'm going to take a quick look at the map and see what it shows as far as, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's done and what's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that is not ready to harvest. Or this is ready to harvest. I don't think our sunflowers are. Um, let me see. Do I have a filter for? Needs to be harvested. Yeah, ready to harvest. So 20 is ready to be harvested. One is still growing. What about 25? 25 says it's ready to be harvested, but I have a feeling it's still, uh, or 26. I love the one 25 along with it because, like I said, we get this whole grass field out in the front. That'd be kind of nice. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, oops, grab this. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to buy a header to do up the sunflowers. So we will, uh, once the sunflowers are ready, actually probably when we're done with this field, we'll probably... Uh, purchase a header that'll fit on this. I want to change out this uh, machine, but I just don't... Oh, shoot. I just noticed that we have uh, oats or something in the vehicle. Okay, so we'll get that taken care of. That's not too hard of a deal to take care of. I mean, I got ideas of things I want to change on the farm, you know, and make everything better. I do want, like I said, I want to make that grass field so that uh, we can read it with the, you know, thinking they'll make the field, get even higher yields out of the field than we already are. And also I want to, uh, in fact, uh, I want to actually take a look at this real quick. Um, I did uh, find a trailer that I like. Um, well, that's our trailers. Um, helps if I don't hit the wrong keys, right? Um, is it in here? I think it is. It's a lizard trailer, and it's a single, uh, is that the single? Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, I mean, this thing, uh, is uh, quite, th this is set to duel right now. I sent a single, but, uh, like that, but, I mean, it's not bad for the price, ninety thousand. I mean, and then we can add other. We can add the beacons. We can. 
the heck is that? It doesn't do nothing. Okay. I don't get it, but okay. But yeah, there's all the, and we can change, you know, the color decals, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to wait because we're not, we don't have the money anyway. And I don't want to sell that trailer just in case. We do have some smaller fields that where we may, uh, you know, at some point when we buy them, we may be able to do, you know, both fields at the same time. And uh, um, our cedar, I was looking at that earlier. And since we're looking at stuff, let's quick look at this. And then I want to show you some other stuff that uh, I'm thinking about possibly buying. I don't know exactly where they are. I'm assuming they're in the larger tractors. But, um, okay, first thing I was going to look up was uh, the cedar. Okay, so ours is this one right here, which which is 180 horsepower, 5,800 for the thing, and we're 5.3 wide. Now this one is 15 wide, which is three times as wide. Um, we've got, yeah, bigger tank on it. It does require more horsepower, but then again, you know, we can plant everything with it, and it has our uh, stuff so we can direct plant. So we may look at this in the near future, that, that was the other thing I was curious. If we sold this, 86, so we'd still need a hundred and some thousand. Um, but anyway, the other thing I wanted to look at is large tractors. So what we're looking for, John Deers, um, we're looking for the 900 series and the 9R and the 9RX series. Um, I'm assuming they're large tractors. So the 9R series, this one here, um, that can handle that, that tank, that, that saddle tank that we have. Which other ones? Uh, is the RT on there? It is not. Of course, uh, the 9RX ser series uh, will work on there. Um, there's a, the 800 series and there's also an, a 920, 930, which I don't see in here, um, unless they're medium tractors. We can look at mediums real quick and see if that's where they're at. But I don't think those are 9,000 series or 900 series in here. No, they're, they must be ones that are on the mod hub that we can get. So we might look into some of them, but uh, definitely there's some uh, definite possibilities there.
right, so I got caught up in my thoughts there and was uh, not thinking as I come and rolling around here to the truck, but um, this feels finally done. Um, I was What I was thinking about was uh, we want to get rid of this New Holland at some point anyway. I was thinking maybe the, the smart thing would be is to uh, either lease the header for field one or lease an entire system for field one, you know, just uh, so it's faster and better. I mean, because I don't, I'm going to look at prices and everything and see what we could swing. I mean, we might be able to. Uh, to find a way to actually make enough money to uh but no, no matter what we'd have to do something this time i guess is what i'm trying to say but uh i need my screen back on where is it let's actually hit f1 instead of there we go wasn't sure which one i was on there for a second because i i think we're gonna need you know the oats out of here you know so we got enough you know, enough for everything. I still do want to get that trailer at some point, you know, the other trailer at some point, but uh, we're not in a big rush for it, you know? Because that, you know, field one is quite big. And then the other thing I was thinking about is i want to do something a little bit i've done them before on things but i've never planted you know other than on western wilds when we did turnips um helps to hit the correct thing i didn't like that um we we've i haven't really you know thought you know hey let's uh, do turnips let's build buy or sugar beets whatever you want to call them uh you know actually buy equipment i was thinking maybe the smart thing would be is to uh to rent the equipment you know to do it and i mean we can plant bigger beets ourselves that's not a problem we have that that piece right over there we'll plant we'll uh plant the sugar beets so i'm not worried about that um <clears throat> but uh you know let me know what you guys think about uh doing a little more leasing of stuff and uh that the other thing I needed to do here quick, I our John Deere is just about empty and I need to get this taken care of. I remember I just remembered now that that was empty. Okay. You know what? Let's just pay the twenty thousand. Well let's get all fifteen hundred liters. You know, I like how, you know, we got it in dollars and stuff, but uh you know, we can't have it, you know, it doesn't want to get it doesn't let us do gallons and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> I guess kinda of funny, you know. Um, this field here, we are going to, um, we're going to windrow it. So at the end of the, at, when I'm done with this episode, I'm going to go over and get the windrower and bring that over here so that this is all ready to be windrowed. And then, uh, we're going to figure out whatever we need. We're going to figure out how to get enough money for everything, but, uh, you know what, I'm not going to park this because I'm going to be taking this down to field 26. I'd like to see if once we get money, I mean, um, I want to look quick since we're right here and we're thinking about it. Um, okay, so our oats are actually at a pretty decent price the way it looks. Um, looks like June is the best and we're what, right, uh, we're right here in February or March, somewhere in there right um yeah february because this is one of those weird worlds you know where you know or the you know where it's another it's not in the united states anyway i'm assuming because it's the summertime in february not or fall time in february not uh not winter <laughs> so you know obviously a different part of the world so it but it all works 
So I think I'm going to end it here and I will see you guys uh, next week and we'll uh, start looking into some of these ideas. You know, uh, I'm assuming I'm probably already going to have uh, the next episodes uh, recorded by the time you guys get to see this one and reply to them because that's usually how I do it. Um, so in two weeks, you know, just let me know what you think, you know, about... Uh, just renting some certain equipment just to uh to do like the you know sugar beets or potatoes or whatever we decide to do i mean like the planter in that we can obviously buy because that's you know good and i want to start you know i want to I, I really want to roll more into the factory so I, you know it took us till uh what like episode uh 20 something in uh western wilds to get uh actually to a point where we're actually able to buy a second field we've already done that here we've already got field 26 so i'd like to next time we buy a field you know be ready i would i really want to get one of the big john deers we're doing uh our harvesting but uh as of right now i don't know which one i want or anything i haven't really spent a lot of time looking at them but I will, like I said, I will see you guys next time. And uh, if you get time, check out uh, Western Wilds. We've been having a good time over there, getting quite a bit of stuff done.